How's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a good day today. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through the Affinity Photo Version 2 Liquify Persona. Affinity Version 2 just came out a couple days ago for all platforms, and I'm going to be taking you through the Liquify Persona and Affinity Photo today. Um, there's um, some new things, but it's fairly similar to the first version of Affinity Photo, so let's get right into it. Alright, first thing you want to do is find an image, and we selected this dude right here, he seems pretty chill, like we're just going to use it, roll with it. Now we're going to go over to our liquefy persona, that's going to be at the top left of your UI, and it's right here, it's first one to the right, click on that right there. First thing you're going to notice are the is like a little grid-like pattern is going to show up on your image or whatever, and... This is just gonna like show you the mask or whatnot, so it's easier to like see your movements and what you're pushing and moving around in the image itself. Because remember, you have to think about this as a mask layer. You're not warping the image, you're warping another layer that's on top of the image. That's, that's, that's the one that's actually being edited. So to change the, the mesh right here, First, you don't even need it on. You can click this button right here, and that'll turn it on or off. I kind of like it on, but I like to lower the opacity of it so it doesn't really get in the way as much. I'll probably go right right around here, so it just helps you keep on track. You can change the color of it um, to change the mesh or whatnot. That's what the grid-like pattern's called. You can just come right over to this section and. If you want more divisions to see, well, or to change more pixels in the mask layer, come right over here. Right over here, you go this way. The more you do, the bigger the grid grid pattern gets. The less pixels are going to be manipulated. And then you go the other way. the f The more fine the grid like pattern is going to get, and you're going to get have way more pixels being moved. <laughs> And there's some other uh, brush tools on this, the right side as well, like your size, hardness, opacity, speed, pretty standard when it comes to your brush. That's, those are just going to change like how much your movements are really going to change the image, especially the opacity with uh, this brush size. Alright, so getting into the toolbar on the left side of your screen, you're going to start with your normal liquify hand tool. Just going to move your image around. Pretty self-explanatory. Your zoom tool, uh, left left click to zoom in, alt left click to zoom out, and then now we're going to get into our liquify tools. So our first one here is our liquify push forward tool. And before I get started, um, all these icons look different because I am in Affinity version 2, of the, it recently just came out. So Affinity version 1, these icons look a little different, but I don't know, I like the new refreshing taste. Anyways, liquify push forward tool. You click and go in that direction. That's the way the pixels are going to move. So if I'm going to the right, it's going to push it to the right. If I'm going to the left, it's going to go to the left. Up, up, down, down. That one's pretty simple. Now we got the liquify push left tool. This one, if you go vertical, it's going to warp the right side and push it to the left. If you go down, it's going to warp the left side and kind of bring it to the right. Can you you can kind of see in that image right there. If you go ver if you're going to the right, it's going to bring the bottom and bring it up. And if you're going um right to left, it's going to bring the top down and kind of warp it down. So that one you might have to play around with. It's a little tricky at first, but You'll get the hang of it. And onto our next tool, <clears throat> we have the Liquify Twirl tool. So, on this one, I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit. And then this this one's pretty, pretty simple. You just click, hold it. If you want to twist it for longer, just twirls it. And if you want to twirl the other way, you just do Alt and Hold. So now this dude has some pretty swirly eyes and cool that's pretty cool so the next tool on our list is the 
liquify pinch tool and this one is pretty cool I like this one a lot because you can play around with a ton of images so let's take his, his eye right here you just hold down and it, it kinda blows up the image so now he's got a huge huge left eye gigantic anyways and then you can do alt click to scale it down to make it smaller but you could also just use the liquify punch tool and go to the eye again and let's shrink it back down and actually let's make that a little bit smaller keep going and as you can see it'll shrink down maybe you don't like the look of his nose I don't know let's try to shrink that down <laughs> so pretty fun one to play with and just like the other one just alt click to reverse it or to make it bigger <laughs> this next tool over here is the liquify turbulence tool and personally I haven't really made much use for this one yet because the tool itself kind of has a certain niche that it's supported to and this one will just kind of make the layers or objects look like waves or make water look more like real water if you can like kind of tell right here let's uh, increase the mesh so you can see that it'll kind of warp the mesh so it looks like water is moving almost and it makes it ripple if you look at the mesh here uh, there's a lot of warps and different things you can see uh, kind of makes it like a ripple effect but pretty cool one I just haven't really found a, too much of a use for it yet alright so our next tool is going to be the liquify mesh clone tool and basically with this one it's very similar to the uh, clone brush tool in the photo persona and it's basically going to copy a warp that you want that you already have in one spot and put it in another so say we want this dude's eye we're going to blow it up right here using the uh, pinch tool we're going to expand the eye and we want it over on this part we want it on his other eye so click on the clone tool and then we alt click collect your so to uh, grab your source and then we're gonna put it right over on this eye right here just click boom there you go now he's got two huge eyes <laughs> looks pretty funny this one you can play around with it's pretty fun this one's a very uh, good tool to fully understand where you can kind of copy and put your warps in different spots of the image so you don't you're not stuck uh, making two different warps in two different spots you can keep it all the same right, and our final tools are the liquify freeze tool and the liquify thaw tool basically what the th uh, freeze tool is going to allow you to do is freeze up certain parts of an image so let's say we want his mouth his eyes and his nose will create a little joker here and that's gonna allow you to warp all the other parts around these red areas but not inside them so let's get our push tool we can warp 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 mess around with the image itself and our thought tool right here is going to allow us to say we want this part right here this little area to be warped but we want the rest of this to be good still so we can just adjust it so it's kinda like finer adjusting for the freeze tool so once we apply we can see the eye the eye and the mouth nose area that we selected and highlighted red are not warped and the rest of the image is so yeah those are your tools in the Liquify Persona and Affinity Photo uh, V2. <clears throat> if you learned anything or liked the video, consider dropping a like and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.